Breakdown on Paradise Boulevard. Well, at this point in the chronology, Dr. Duke appears to have broken down completely. <clears throat> the original manuscript is so splintered that we were forced to seek out the original tape recording and transcribe it verbatim. We made no attempt to edit this section, and Duke refused even to read it. There was no way to reach him in any case. The only address or contact we had during this period was a mobile phone unit somewhere out on Highway 61. All efforts to reach Duke at that number proved futile. In the interest of journalistic purity, we are releasing the following section just as it came off the tape with minor edits. The transcript begins somewhere on the northeast outskirts of Las Vegas, zooming along Paradise Road in the White Whale. Boulder City is to the right. Is that a town? Yeah. Well, let's go to Boulder City. All right. Let's get some coffee somewhere. Right up here, Terry's Taco Stand, USA. I could go for a taco. Five for a buck. Ah, uh, sounds horrible. I'd rather go somewhere where there's one for 50 cents. No, don't judge a taco by its price. You think you might make a deal? I might. There's a hamburger for 29 cents, tacos at 29, it's just a cheap place, that's all. I'll go bargain with them. Yeah, uh, hello? May I help you? Hello. Yeah, you have tacos here? Or are they Mexican tacos? Just reg regular tacos? I mean, do you have chili on them and things like that? Well, we have cheese and lettuce and we have sauce, you know, put on them. I mean, do you guarantee that they're authentic Mexican tacos? I don't know. Hey, Lou? Do we have authentic Mexican tacos? What? Authentic! Mexican tacos! We have tacos! I don't know how Mexican they are. Yeah, well, I, I just want to make sure I'm getting what I'm paying for, because they're five for a dollar. I'll take five of them. Taco burger, what's that? That's a hamburger with a taco in the middle. Instead of a shell. A taco on a bun. You go to school around here? No, I don't go to school. Oh, why? Are you sick? <laughs> As your attorney, I advise you to get the chili burger. It's a hamburger with chili on it. The taco has meat in it. I'll try that one and some coffee now, right now, so I can drink it while I'm waiting. That's all you want, one taco burger? Well, I'll try it. I might want two. Are your eyes blue or green? Pardon? Green or blue? They change. Like a lizard? Well, like a cat. Oh, oh, the lizard changes the color of his skin. <laughs> you want anything to drink? Beer. And I have beer in the car, tons of it. The whole back seat's full of it. Is Boulder City somewhere around here? Boulder City? You want some sugar? Yeah. We're in Boulder City, huh? Or, or, or very close to it. I don't know. Any action up there in Boulder City? Don't ask me. I don't know. Gambling? Any gambling? I don't know. It's just a small town. Where's the casino? I, I don't know. Wait a minute. Where, where are you from? New York. And you've just been here a day? No, I have been here for a while. Where do you go around here? I mean, say you wanted to go... Swimming or something like that? In my backyard. What's the address? Um, you go to this... Well, the pool's not open yet. Let me explain it to you. Let, let me run it down just briefly, if I can. We're looking for the American dream, and we were told that it was somewhere in the area. Well, we're here looking for it because they sent us out here all the way from San Francisco to look for it. That's why they gave us this white Cadillac. They figured that we could catch up with it in that. Uh, hey, Lou, do you know where the American dream is? She's asking the cook if she knows where the American dream is. Is that the old psychiatrist club? I think so. The old psychiatrist club? The old psychiatrist club is on Paradise. Are you guys serious? Oh, no, honest. Look at that car. I mean, do I look like I own a car like that? I could be the old psychiatrist club. It was a discotheque place. Maybe that's it. It's on Paradise and what? Ross Allen had the old psychiatrist club. Is he the owner now? I don't know. All we were told was, go till you find the American dream. Take this white Cadillac and go find the American dream. It's somewhere in the Las Vegas area. Oh, that's got to be the old psychiatrist club. And it's a silly story to do, but you know, that, that's what we get paid for. Are you taking pictures of no, it? No, no, no pictures. Oh, no what, pictures. somebody just send you on a goose chase? It's or... sort of a wild <laughs> goose chase, more or less, but personally... We're dead serious. Yeah, that's got to be the old psychiatrist club. But the only people who hang out there is a bunch of pushers, peddlers, uppers and downers, you know, that, that stuff. Well, maybe that's it. Is it a nighttime place or is it an all-day oh, kind of place? Oh, honey, this place never stops. But it's not a casino. What kind of place is it? It's on Paradise, and uh, it's just, just the old psychiatrist club on Paradise. Is that why it's called the old psychiatrist club? No, that's what it used to be called, but then somebody bought it, but... I, I never heard about it as the American dream, but it was something like associated with uh, 
Oh, I, it's a mental joint where all the dopers hang out. A mental joint? You mean like a mental hospital? No, honey, it's where all the dope peddlers and all the pushers, everybody hangs out. It's just a place where all the kids are potted when they go in and everything. And, but it's not what you, you said, uh, the American dream. Well, do you have any idea what it might be called or more or less where it might be located? Right off of Paradise and Eastern. The Paradise and Eastern are parallel. Yeah, I know that. But when I come off of Eastern, then I go on to Paradise. Yeah, I know it, but then that would make it off Paradise around the Flamingo straight up here. I think somebody's handed you a bunch We're of... We're staying at the Flamingo. I think that this place that you're talking about and the way that you're describing it, I think maybe that's it. It's not a tourist joint. Well, that's why they sent me. I, he, I, he's the writer, I'm the bodyguard, because I figure it's going to be a place that we... They, these guys are nuts, okay? These kids are nuts. That's okay. Yeah, they got new laws. 24-hour day violence, is that what we're saying? Oh, exactly. So, oh, now here's the flamingo. Oh, I, I can't show you this. I, I got to tell you better my way. Right up here at the first gas station is Tropicana. You take a right. Tropicana to the right. First gas station is Tropicana. Take a right on Tropicana. And take this... Uh, oh, okay. It's right on Tropicana, right on Paradise. You see a big black building, all painted black and really weird looking. When you go down in Tropicana, it's not the first gas station, it's the second. It's just, it's a big sign. Okay, it's right down the street there, it says Tropicana Avenue, make a right. And when you get to Paradise, you make another right. Okay, big black building, right on Paradise. 24 hour a day violence, drugs. You're gonna be glad you stopped here, boys. Yeah, only if we find it. Only if we write the article and get it in. Well, why don't you come inside and sit down? We're trying to get as much sun as we can. She's going to make a phone call to find out where it is. Oh, okay, let's go inside. The tape cassettes for the next sequence were impossible to transcribe. There was some viscous liquid encrusted behind the head. But there's a certain consistency in the garbled sounds indicating that almost two hours later, Duke and his attorney finally located what was left of the old psychiatrist. It was a huge slab of cracked scorched concrete in a vacant lot full of tall weeds. We contacted the owner of the gas station across the road. He said the place had burned down three years ago. Yeah, it must be right up here on this corner. This is it, Paradise and 44. Ye gods, that is it. Let's get out of here.